Hello everyone, my name is Russell Wright. I'm the co-inventor of the ThemeZoom natural language processing application and the Kraken vertical online market analysis tool. Those of you who know us, we are a team of developers and enterprise platform creators that like to incorporate many different levels of the web all at once. We have several different courses available at NetworkEmpire.com, premium content curation being one of them, but being one of the most important when it comes to understanding how the tale of two Googles, that is the social search engine on the personalized Google results, is now being combined with Google Plus as a middleman to syndicate content back and forth between these two Google split personalities. Google legacy used to be that you would target a keyword and rank for that keyword, and that was pretty much it. Now you have to incorporate what's called the real-time web, which is being published at the speed of thought right underneath everything else always going on so quickly that it's almost difficult to follow it, even on Google+. Few people know how the algorithms and the social algorithms and the page rank and link flow actually integrate together to create this new unified Uber Google as Google targets more and more of a market share for people logging into their private Google Plus or Google accounts. Now, what I'm about to show you is a sneak peek of a $15,000 course that myself and my mentor, ThemeZoom architect Sue Bell, who's a military industrial programmer, has created called the ThemeZoom Certification and Network Empire Certification Program. I've created the one feed to rule them all aspect of RSS syndication automation in the course that Sue Bell and I created together. The content curation and premium content curation course includes many RSS automation aspects, including Google Plus, which is another course we offer. And so this is a sneak peek. What you're about to see is a sneak peek of one of our expensive client courses where we have clients fly to us in our home offices and we teach them uh, one client at a time, this entire system to help them swallow their market whole. Now, the one feed to rule them all is a system that is a pet name used by my team to describe a process of RSS curation. The one feed is not to be confused with advanced content curation and real-time news or topical story crafting and flipping best practices. These are practices that I've helped create along with a lot of the mentors that I've researched over the years uh, including the concept of Curation Nation, which is the book that popularized the whole curation movement. These are not necessarily addressed by the technical one feed, but it's important that you understand how many layers of the onion or how many layers of online operational platforms, integration between Google Plus and Google Proper, and all these things that the theme Zoom uh, application development team incorporates into our thinking. In our course, you're going to learn how all of these things work. Nor does the basic one feed setup require the use of Google Plus or any other systems that I helped invent. And it does not necessarily, uh, because systems that do not provide RSS feeds out, like Google Plus, are difficult to incorporate in the one feed to build them all system. But we're also going to show you how to cheat or hack your way through that to syndicate to the masses, including maintaining your link flow. So you can just relax. You don't have to accomplish the whole thing all at once. And understand that what we're incorporating is RSS automation, social media signals, which is also traffic signals, and link flow or page rank or SEO. These are three different kinds of traffic sources all included together. That's traffic, RSS automation, SEO ranking, and the SEO aspects of content curation. Most content curators you speak to really don't know what's going on with SEO. To, and what they end, end up doing is throwing up in their hands and saying SEO is no longer important. This is nonsense. And we're going to talk to, I'm going to talk to you about this and this. This is why we teach WR1 and WRS1. In other words, I do want you to understand that there are layers of any online empire when you're building it. And even though you might be a beginner or even an intermediate, it's important for you to begin with the end in mind and understand that when we're talking about WR1, we're talking about platforms that you own and WR2 are open social platforms such as YouTube and the rest where you can open up a profile and get page link or pass page rank or page link, uh, link flow from any of the third party platforms within your online empire. And these core WR1 platforms that you own the way that we define them is that they are your, your unique core brand. That means that you are letting Google Plus know that these are websites that you own. This is one major confusion that many people have. So before you even begin using the one feed to build them all system, it's helpful that you start making a list 
of the websites you already have and determine what feeds they have. RSS feeds that you already have are going to waste if, they're not, if you're not using them with a thoughtful process to syndicate content. And so as a result, in order to teach you true content curation that incorporates RSS and, and RSS automation and SEO logic, which is link flow moving toward the primary sites that you want to get ranked on the search engine and swallow your market whole, not for just one keyword, but for thousands of keywords using far fewer inbound links than your competition, including our technologies called website silo architecture. So the basic requirements for a one feed system has nothing to do with creating more content and has nothing to do with content curation. I'm showing you the basic requirements so that when you move on into this course, which is all about story flipping and what I call topical premium content curation or membership site based content curation, even if you don't have a membership site, you need to understand this link flow logic to drive traffic signals and page rank flow, page link and page rank flow to your core sites so that they're the ones that get ranked on the search engines. You need a money site, you need a website, and you need an RSS out for one of your blogs. If you have multiple blogs on your branded sites, that's fine. Go ahead and include these in on your list and keep these feeds. YouTube also has an RSS feed out, and we recommend a particular kind of feed that you'll learn in this course. And this feed, including your uh, Twitter account is another social signal you need, and Twitter feed, this is the beginning basic minimum requirements for you to begin to understand how to automate the signals from your primary website and blogs as they come out of your primary content, even if that's your primary content site. Even if you only have one blog and you're creating only one article per day on your money site, most people don't even know that their RSS feed can be used to go out as a signal and start pinging the search engines as well as driving traffic through their social media networks through Twitter and they can build their Twitter following automatically and develop uh, this Twitter network as well as the other social media follower networks. And they can begin to put out signals within that social media environment while they're optimizing their SEO and maintaining the link factor to their primary website, ranking it on the search engine and never leaking that rank power, that ranking power. Most people start tweeting out social media things that mean very little and they're not very helpful. They're wasting a lot of their time and their energy. You can use OnlyWire and Ping FM. We show you how to do that. And if you want to click, when well, we talk about one feed to rule them all, we're really talking about using a feed aggregator system or you know, including our feed aggregation system, which we're building, to unify all of your RSS feeds into one specific signal. And when you do that, you can start putting that feed in places all around the web and you're going to be blown away by how much traffic you get at, as the traffic signals and the social media signals, especially when they're confirmed by Google+, Plus, which we have an entirely different course on, but we also talk about in the content curation course. These are things that you need to know. And it's important that you understand how they work. Otherwise, you're wasting your time, your money on things that don't integrate all these layers of the web. Our advanced requirements, once you understand the basic requirements of the one feed to rule them all system, you'll begin to see as we build on this, that then you can start to add things like RSS directories. If you come from the SEO universe, you already know about these things more or less. RSS directories will help you get ranked in the search engine. Um, they can be borrowed by black hat and gray hat and even white hat sources that pull feeds to generate blogs and or websites, but also they give you decent pinging around topical theme clusters so that you begin to rank on the search engines for relevant content as seen by Google. Also, we use, well, I'm going to show you a secret Twyla method that allows you to generate page rank out of thin air because Twyla is a service that turns Twitter into a website and if you're following the theme zoom and network empire methods of, of theme clustering and keyword dna clustering you're going to see how uh, your twitter account is 10 times more valuable when you're building it properly because twyla has more page rank because it's thematically clustered and targeted to a following that is based on your social signals that you've organized from your kdna that's your keyword topical cluster we get into that more of that in the content curation course now, the super advanced version of all this, which is the course that you're taking, which includes the Uber Uber curation content aspect of the content curation, the real time news, the topical curation, including RSS curation, which is what we've just covered. This includes real time news curation or topical industry curation, story crafting and flipping and SEO, advanced SEO syndication. 
Okay, this is all of it at once. Before you even get to content curation, you have to understand thoroughly the things that I just showed you. And now you can understand why most content curators that you're dealing with have no idea what it is that I just said. These last two, you know, previous uh, sections, beginner and advanced. As a result, most people are learning content curation in a way that leaves you at a disadvantage for your SEO and for your RSS automation, let alone your social spaces. They may get the social spaces right. You see all these people getting really social with Twitter and the rest, but they're not really keeping the link flow within their empire. This is why Network Empire were adamant about this. So the next step to that advanced level is then you can begin to use services where you change or add or create uniquely defined micro content, such as Storify, to drive even more traffic through your industry. Okay, and this is very, very powerful methods. I'm going to show you how to flip a story in 25 seconds that gets more traffic than the original story. Uh, I'm sorry, in 20 minutes that gets more traffic than the original story. I'm going to show you how to syndicate that through the net networks. I'm going to show you how to use Scoop.it. My friends over at Scoopit have what I believe to be one of the most powerful curation platforms on the planet for oh so many reasons, including theme clustering, RSS automation, and uh, page rank uh, maintenance. That is page range. They contain the page rank within their magazine because they're thematically clustered. They're not a perfect website silo architecture, but because they're thematically clustered, they maintain a lot more page rank as well as Scoop.it being just a very high page rank site. The next thing we're going to talk about is Posterous. I show you three different levels of Posterous in this course, how to use it to automate your business. If you're a premium content provider, that means that you have membership sites. I'm going to show you how to use Posterous widgets to provide constant content for your membership and inside your membership area, how your members literally can drive traffic and the traffic signal to your curated posts to drive up your page rank in your outer networks and your outer rings. I'm going to show you how to automate Posterous at so many levels, it's going to blow your mind. We're also in the curation course, and there's an RSS feed out, by the way, on Posterous. Very powerful. We're also going to brush up against curation and Google+. I believe Google+, is one of the ultimate free curation tools out there. People don't see it as that because they think it's some kind of social media stream. It is merely a social media stream. But what it is actually is a curation tool that is more powerful than most of the paid curation tools out there. I don't cover everything in this curation course that I cover in my g-plus-plus.com course, but I do cover a lot of the integration and why Google Plus is not like Google Wave, it's not like Google Buzz or any of these other things that the predictors have, have thought that was going, was going to last. We knew none of those would last because the, the framework as enterprise developer technologists, we understand how and why Google as a company is working with different platforms. And when you look at who's behind the platform, and why it's being created and how many of the Google departments are being unified around a core database, then you can determine whether or not a, a Google uh, department or a new service is going to last. Google Plus is one of the most powerful things ever devised and it's incredibly dangerous to somebody who doesn't understand how it connects with SEO. I show you advanced curation techniques in this course that allow you to retain all of your page rank while at the same time notifying Google of all the sites in your WRS, WRS and WR1 ring, web ring empire and Google Plus, you notify them that you own these sites because it'll communicate with them what your social signals are all about. And you need to let Google know which WRS1 and WR1 sites you own because those are your branded sites and they will help your page rank. But more importantly, it will connect to your social graph in ways that most people are not accounting for right now. It's very important for you to understand how that works. We talk more about that in the content curation course. Also, we deal with potentially multiple tw Twitter and Twilight accounts. There are certain terms of services that you have to adhere to in Twitter and Twyla, but if you, do your, if you play your cards right, you can build PageRank out of thin air while you're naturally tweeting the, the articles and micro content articles throughout your content empire. And then we'll leave you with a little bit of insight into Quora. We have a new course coming out called Quora Curation, also called Quora Crusher. And this is how we use Quora to reverse engineer your entire market based on questions because questions are the answer. And your ISDNA, your frequently asked questions and your should ask questions make up the most important pains in your market. And we have a software that will reveal to you in other courses, but this course prepares you for 
how to use the questions within your social graph because again Quora is something that you will see connected to your social graph and Google Plus and we've automated a significant portion of the process of using Quora in a way that's going to benefit you as a subject matter expert and while you curate other stories in the industry while other people are writing huge long articles and trying to answer everybody's questions for free using interesting and complete content you're going to be creating hand over fist within seconds and minutes interesting but incomplete content to drive people to your paid membership site and thinking clearly about your business model okay this is something that most people do not do when they create content online i hope this has been helpful i look forward to seeing you inside the premium content curation course you're going to be blown away by the value that we have in here and i'll continue to add this uh, add stuff to this content in a regular basis as the market that we're in right now this new world i call the cybernetic business model that is where the human world and the machine world are integrating into one dimension and those of us who know how to use the technology intelligently as a cybernetic business proposition will begin to crush the people on the mar in the markets that don't really understand what's going on who are wasting their time becoming permanently distracted with social streams and social media and getting confused between a sustainable business model and a distraction business model